This week, we decided to head up to Palo Duro Canyon in the panhandle of Texas. We had about a six hour drive, and of course, things didn't go as planned. We haven't been on the road for an hour yet, and I already have a flat tire. Just to put in perspective, how bad this tire blew, let me show you. Look at that. I guess this is a good excuse to get some new tires. While I'm here, check out my new front bumper. It's uh, made by Hammerhead, a uh, company in Bay Springs, Mississippi, I believe. Uh, put the Smitty built winch on there, 12,000 pounds uh, with some hella fog lights. Uh, these eBay specials, <laughs> uh, nine inch lights. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. They give me more clearance. Let me tell you how much of a blessing this young lady is. I can't begin to explain all the things she's done for me. Thanks, Fief. We continued our way up north to more open spaces. And finally, some dirt roads. Before going to Palo Duro, we decided to visit the lesser known Cap Rock Canyons. It didn't disappoint. We reached Palo Duro too late in the day to fully explore it, and now the campsites were full, so we decided to push north to Amarillo. The temperature dropped down to a comfortable 68 degrees that night, but unfortunately the winds were too high to sleep in a ground tent, so we chose to sleep in the back of the truck. The next morning we finally got to see why Palo Duro Canyon is the second largest canyon in the United States.
We decided to hike the lighthouse trail, which is roughly around six miles there and back in the 100 degree weather. We were about a mile and a half in when we realized we weren't gonna make it in the time that we had set to head back to Dallas. So we turned around. But there was something awesome waiting for us at the trailhead. Snow cones after a hike. Not just hike. Extreme hike. Extreme hike. In the summer of Texas. It's like yeah. 97. We got back on the road to Dallas. I'd say the worst part about this whole drive was having to do it right after a hike. I think a portable shower is definitely in the near future. What's up, y'all? We got in pretty late last night from the canyon. Uh, I didn't get to record much, but the truck is beyond dirty, so I'm fixing to give it a good wash. Truck's good and wash now, but I still gotta figure out something with this tire. It's, it's driving me crazy. If you have a suggestion on which tire brand, which tire tread I should get, comment below and uh, let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. 